Hi everyone, today I would like to talk about nitric acid. Nitric acid is one of the three common strong acid, the two others being sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. And what makes nitric acid different from the two others is that in addition of being a strong acid, it is also a very strong oxidizer and that makes it the only one that is capable of dissolving copper. Now, you may wonder if this acid is so strong, why am I not using gloves in order to handle it? Well, the reason is that here is what happens if you wear latex gloves and pour some acid on it. You see, it kind of catches on fire, while well, here the flame turned off because there's quite some wind, which is good because that makes all the fumes move away from me. Um, the fumes are very toxic, so you shouldn't breathe this, okay? Now, you see what happens to the gloves when you pour acid on them. What would happen if I directly pour some acid on my fingers? Well, it doesn't hurt that much. You, when you have some nitric acid on, on, your, on your hand, you have plenty of time to go rinse them off. It won't hurt if you do it within a, a few minutes, but it leaves some yellow marks that take about three weeks to go away, like here, this one. Okay, so it's not a big deal, but it's not, uh, it doesn't leave pretty marks. Um, now, uh, what is special also about this acid, uh, which I made myself, is that it has 95% concentration. Usually, the nitric acid that you can buy online is called concentrated nitric acid, which means that it has a concentration of 70%. Now, what happens when you have such a high concentration as you can see is that when you blow on it it fumes this is called white fuming nitric acid and the fact that the fumes are white is an, an indication that the concentration is at least 90 percent if if it fumes red that means that the concentration is below 90 percent but higher than 80 84 percent i think i uh, don't remember the exact amount so i made this this nitric acid myself and if you want to make some too you can look in the description of this video for the link where i show how to make it from household product uh, it's interesting to make it oneself because uh, for, for two reasons um, the first reason is that it's relatively hard to be to, to purchase nitric acid online, uh, especially with such a concentration. And uh, even if you can find a store that will uh, that sells nitric acid, usually they will sell it only to professionals. Okay. However, uh, the law doesn't prevent you from making it yourself. It's perfectly legal. To do it yourself okay so watch my video if you want to make it yourself um, and uh, we can do many cool things with nitric acid well of course you may know that uh, it is involved in the making of many explosives such as TNT but uh, this is not the only use of uh, this nitric acid uh, personally I use it in order to make flash paper and flash cotton so um, you may also want to look in the link in the description of this video for the link where I show how to make flash paper and flash cotton. Now, as I said, uh, this is the only acid that is capable of dissolving copper. So let me prove it. Well, first, you know how to recognize copper, okay? 
this nice red metal so let me pour a little bit of nitric acid and it reacts vigorously with copper now what did I say I just said that it reacts vigorously however here apparently you don't see anything happening or at least very slow okay we don't see anything why is that well that's because my nitric acid is so concentrated that it instantly reacts with the thin layer of the copper it creates a thin oxide layer that actually protects the copper from further action of the acid and in order to prove that it is uh, because my acid is too concentrated I'm going to dilute it by adding some water okay so let me prove this and here and this is really water I mean I can put plenty on my on my skin it's just water okay so let me add a few drops and see what happens let's shake a little bit maybe add some more water To concentrate it okay I'm confused I am super confused why it doesn't react can be possible that I need to add so much water to it yes that was the reason you see how much water I had to to add for the reaction to start that's incredible so this is an indication that my nitric acid is indeed really concentrated Now let us wait a few seconds or a few minutes and it will totally dissolve the copper. Sorry for the noise outside. It's always each time I want to make a video that the neighbors decide to make as much noise as possible. And there we are look at this beautiful residue I think that uh, what we have is um, how is it called uh, copper nitrate okay so there's a way to treat it and recover the copper or 
probably to turn it back into nitric acid by electrolysis or I don't know but uh, don't dispose it if you do the, the, the experiment you can you can reuse it and do something with it so thanks for watching and uh, I hope that this will uh, raise your interest in nitric acid we can do many things with it please share my video on your social network and subscribe to my channel if you liked that video.